Good day everybody, Sebastian Keynes back with you with another Watcher of Realms video. Hey, guess what? I'm, he I'm in my Forerunners account here. This is my free-to-play account. I have not spent any cash on it. But today, uh, I'm going to be covering a hero that I have had the fortune to pull in this account, and that is Lassier. He is a mage. He's from the cultist. He was just recently introduced into the global public server in his 10x with Hex. And if you got him, be uh, thankful because you are going to have an easy time clearing GR1. As I said, Lassier is a specialist. Uh, you, it's the, his major purpose in the game, besides giving you the up, uh, affording you the opportunity to do some damage in other areas of the game, if you need him to 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 do that. And there are going to be some stages and maybe some events, especially changes in the world, where anti healing becomes uh, a, a, a mechanic that you want in your kit. And Lassier is one that can offer that for you. Uh, not only that, he deals AOE damage, which is essential for GR1. You want that for GR1. And he has a passive where he, uh, based on his talent, right, which is the Sand Erosion, which is he stacks the debuff and then each stack deals magic damage equal to 10% of the caster's attack percent uh, per second. And so his passive uh, is when there's an enemy with three stacks of this debuff, uh, he does... Uh, and and that enemy dies within the basic attack range then he grants another nearby enemy two stacks so you kill the debuff is kind of transfer two stacks and now he can continue on stacking if that's um if that's what the, um, the mechanic allows him to do and this effect is uh can be triggered up to one time every seven seconds his uh auto skill is every uh, five seconds he then inflicts a slow integral for gr1 you want to slow those waves down make sure that they don't take down the wall too fast and then he um, um this is all based on the the sand erosions and then his basic attack uh deals 115 percent damage to up to five enemies within that range so his range is uh it's pretty big you can do four squares on the uh, first line and then three on the adjacent ones uh pretty much for skills here on this demonstration i'm just gonna have um uh, level two on the on the ultimate and very low on it all the other ones unfortunately went to the basic attack for this uh, for this demonstration, I do have the Nightman Samsara artifact on him. And there are actually two builds that I'm going to show you here uh, that I did with him. So the first uh, test that I want to show you is actually with uh, this gear here, where he had about 11,000 attack. And I was able to push the crit rate, and then he has some crit damage. Not a whole lot of rage regeneration, but one of the things that I do like about him is that his ultimate comes back really quickly. And you'll notice that in one of the cases where where I will showcase him here. So the first step that I want to take him in uh, for you is in the campaign. So here I am in stage expert uh 413 is just one of the uh storyline stages that i had um used um that i needed to clear for the storyline so I, I i said i might as well uh, use the opportunity to bring in lassier and just show you what he can kind of do so as we're setting things up all i'm going to try to do here is just set up a tank and i'm going to set up the two fighters with some healers and then i'm just going to uh, place Lassier on the upper tile and then just let him do the work and just show you as to how easily um, he was able to manage the waves as they came along. So there, I uh, place Lassier and now we get to see him try to clear these waves here. 
along with my fighters and my tank. My tank, of course, is Regulus. And if you are just playing in the public server right now, you will soon be introduced to Ares and Falsha, which are my two main fighters in this account. So they are the ones that are taking in um, and blocking the, the course at the moment. So here I'm using his ultimate right now. So he can do that damage and pop, uh, uh, stack that, that, that sand erosion that he has. And hopefully as he's killing enemies, he's transferring over. So... You can see everybody's trying to... Trying to keep everybody alive as much as possible with Eloin and her wooden elf. And let me just make sure. So I lost, I lost my fighter there, so I put Abomination back in. A little bit more support for this demonstration here, but I just want to I just want you to see the ability of Lassier to do the damage that he is doing here. And here's the boss. So the mass, the boss is a little, uh, has magic resistance. So Lassier is not going to help out too much. So I'm going to bring back a fighter uh, to to help me clear this and finish that up. So let me let me see if I can fast forward a little bit here. And I'm gonna yeah, right there. We are to the end. We clear the stage, and here I'm just gonna show you what he was able to do. So just based on the waves and the makeup of the waves, he is as a mage, he did a lot of damage for him for for, for the stage. So if you wanna use him as a damage dealer for certain situations in the game i would suggest that you build him for that so he can certainly do that and his aoe damage certainly does help clear some of the content here so i'm gonna keep going here and i'm gonna take him over to gr1 okay before setting up this run i want to show you the build that i have for commit so a, a lot of the the, um, the comparisons that are made uh, when it comes to lasir is i think to commit because everybody wants to compare them as to which one is going to be the better mage for gr1 right so here i just keep in, in mind here is the build that i have for commit i was able to get his crit rate up with about 12 you know almost 1300 uh, attack and some critical damage and i kept the build that i had for lasir just to be the one that i was uh, using for the demonstration that i showed you and campaign and his uh is uh, a little bit lower 1200 attacks it has crit rate a little bit less crit damage and some rage region but um I just want you we're going to compare and uh, i'm going to show you what the uh, the two of them are actually capable of doing for this dungeon here so i'm going to manual this first part because then on the second run after i swap the gear between the two on the second run i just want the run to be the same with all the timings and everything uh, put together so here is my this is the team that i actually use uh to to farm this dungeon uh here in the free to play yes i'm using shamir yes he is at least useful in some situations he's not fully level but he is there free to plays cannot be beggars so yes yeah, so here is commit here is the seer put him right beside and dolores is going to give him a boost Right on top is uh, Mary, and I'm going to also put Maul up there. They're just kind of slowing things down for me on the runs. That's essentially how I set this up. And Cerebus, uh, I just use him to, to be a little bit annoying against the boss. So there we are. Just a standard GR-118 run. Okay. 
And I'm, I did not put Bjarna in here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put Bjarna down. She'll just wreck this whole thing. So let's just let her. Let's just let these two go at it. So here comes the boss. Now, if you have servers, this is what I use them uh, uh, in, in in situations like this. Sometimes I don't know if I placed them. I did not. Okay, I did. So. Uh, he takes that big slash and uh, he, uh, you know, that's a little, little bit of damage to the boss. But then if the boss manages to kill him, he just leaves that water uh, fountain behind and it, that does damage in itself. So it helps out at the end anyway. All right, so they're bringing down the wave. and done perfect okay so that was the first round then remember the two builds that i had a favor commit a little bit more and uh that damage right there so given the bills commit actually came out ahead of this year right for uh 18 18 7 to 14 7. so to me, they are comparable. They will do exactly what you need them to do in this dungeon. You cannot go wrong with either one. Uh, but what is going to, besides Komet's ability to do the AOE damage and provide that push that you need to clear this dungeon, is just in 19, 20, and 21, the nice addition of um, Lassier to your comp is the fact that he has that anti-healing. So when I'm able to clear 19 in that in in this account, that'll be uh, partly due to Lassier's ability to um, apply into healing uh, when the boss is, uh, you know, um, healing the waves. Okay, so here we'll continue on. So essentially, what I did is just swap things around, right? Now the 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 same uh, art uh, set that. Comet had, I put it over on the seer. And, and to show you, Comet now has the set that um, the seer had. So I'm going to go back to GR1. And since I saved that run, GR 118. And then since I saved the run, I'm just going to auto it. So now the timings are going to be the same. And I'm going to let them go at it. And kind of see the progression there. They're clearing it. They're doing a good job. Kind of helping this go along a little bit faster. There are the slows from Mary, from Maul, from Ahmed, from Lassier. Everybody's contributing to this. And there we have it. Now it's all down. And here we go. So now with the swap going around, now you can see the difference kind of. Lassier out did commit. And it's about 19.6 to 13.7 yeah, based on RNG. So definitely, I mean, he can do damage. There's no question about that. And he is... For GR1, he is perfect. If you pull them uh, in the global during his 10x, I congratulate you. You should have an easier time progressing to GR1 now. So, as we are looking at the legendary mage uh, mages, uh, the class, uh, I think Lassier definitely for for GR1 
he does specialize in that area he does phenomenal in that area I, I think that he's a hero that is just going to be a nice addition to any account and especially for me as, as a, a free-to-play on this side of the servers i definitely like them for progression i definitely would keep using him and i know that he will immensely help me advance the gr1 19 20 and 21 stages when i am ready to get there so i hope that gives you an idea of what you can do with lasir and if you have both lasir and Komet, even better congratulations these are two great mages they're certainly not in the class of vierna but you guys uh, are going to have a phenomenal time building and playing around with this hero if you do pull him I'd like to thank you all very much for tuning in and watching, and I will see you all next time on another Watcher Realms video.